Hello, welcome. We've got a system of equations here. Give it a shot and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so let's identify what we have right here. This is, in fact, a circle. And the radius is the square root of this number here. So I'll write the radius is 20, right? 20 times 20 is 400. And the center, the center is at 0, 0. Now, if they had done like x minus 2, Let's, I'll, just, I'll show you a different example. x minus 2 squared plus y um, plus 1 squared equals 400. Then the center would be at, this would be 2 for x, and then negative 1 for y. It's essentially always the opposite of the number you see here. They always give you the x and y values of the center of the circle. But here we just have x and y. So you can think of it as x plus 0 and y plus 0, and that's our center. So then I'm thinking, all right, we've got a circle. Okay, I'm my circle tool. Maybe cheating a little bit, I don't know. Um, boom. All right, so the, the radius is 20, right? And then we have a line, y equals x minus 28. Now if we think about this line, um, so here's 20, 28 is down here. This line, the steepness of it, could meet the circle twice, it could meet it once, or never, right? We want to find out what's going on here. I'm going to leave it in this spot and see if I want to change anything in, in, a, in a moment. So with a, with a problem like this, um, I'm going to use typically substitution. I'm going to plug one equation into the other. And this one always tells us that y equals x minus 28. So we can plug that directly in here. We can substitute it. Instead of x squared plus y squared, let's take a look. We have x minus 28 squared. So that's x minus 28 times itself. And then plus y squared equals 400. Nope, that is not. <laughs> that's, oh boy, what am I doing? I'm like, wait, there's two variables still in there. Oh boy. The whole point of substitution is to um, set things up so you can start solving. So if y equals x minus 28, we plug that in for y right here, not for x, sorry. So it's x squared plus, oh boy, um, x minus 28 squared. I could write that out, expand it, and that should equal 400. So you can see here we only have just x variables, we can solve that. All right, so we have x squared, and then x times x is another x squared. And then you have minus 28 minus 28, so it's minus 56x, and then plus, I think I have 28 squared memorized. Why is that? I should fix that. All right, 784, I should have known that. Okay, plus 784 equals 400. Now we combine it up, we have 2x squared minus 56x, and then subtract 400, it's going to give us 384 equals zero. It's a little hard to solve this. I'm going to divide everything by two. So x squared minus 28x. What is that? 150 plus 42. So 192. And this might factor wonderfully. I just, I'm not sure about that. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root. b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So here's b is negative 28, so the opposite of that is 28, plus or minus the square root of 28 squared, minus 4 times a is 1, times c, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. All right, then we're just solving that, 28. Plus or minus, again, we have 28 squared, we get 784. Let me just plug that in. So 784 minus 4 times 1 times 192. Okay, that's 16. All right, that works out nicely. Plus or minus 16 over 2. So that's just 28 plus or minus 4 over 2. So 28 plus 4 is 32 over 2, which is 16. And then 28 minus 4 is 24 divided by 2 is 12. 
All right, so we have 16 and 12 are our two possible solutions to this. That's kind of an interesting thing to, to happen there, right? So these are two x values that can work. It tells you that this line should meet the circle two times, right? That's what we're seeing there. So there's two times when x is 12 they meet, when x is 16 they meet. We can find the y values by plugging it into either of these formulas because, again, they're, they're the same at these locations. Now, you have to assume this is 12, let's say, and this is 16, so maybe the line's more like, let me see if I can get it to move. So maybe this line, yeah, okay. So this line, maybe 12 is about here, so it's across there, and then maybe 16 is there, something like that, maybe. So when x is 12, y is 12 minus 28, that's negative 40. Did I do that right? Uh, 12, no, I did not, oh boy, it's late. Okay, so y equals 12 minus 28 is the opposite of 28 minus 12, so that's negative 16. Okay, I feel better about that, negative 16, because that's within the radius of the circle, right? Um, okay, and then over here we have 16 for x, and the 16 minus, minus 28 is negative 12. Oh, that's interesting. So actually my, my sketch is not so great, is it? Let's fix that. I don't like this. Boom. So let's say maybe something like this. Crossing there and there. So we have 12, negative 16. has a nice little symmetry to it. And then we have 16, negative 12. Right there. Excuse that. I should erase those. Oh, boy. And that's where they meet. So they, they're going to meet at these two points, 12, negative 16 and 16 negative 12 and all I did again I plugged in well incorrectly at first but I plugged in the value of y right here and then solve for x and then used both of those x solutions to solve for y all right I hope that helped